In this video, we will see the basic working of up down counter IC4029 and also we will see how to connect a display with this IC. So let's get started. Up down counter CMOS IC4029 pin number 16 is plus VCC pin and pin number 8 is ground pin. Pin number 15 is clock input pin and pin number 9 and 10 these both are control pin pin number 9 is used to switch between binary or decade counter and pin number 10 is to switch between up counter or down counter pin number 5 is carry in and pin number 7 is carry out when we want to cascade two pieces of 4029 then we need these two pins when we use single piece of 4029 then we simply connect the pin number 5 to the ground. This pin number 1 is preset. Now see the outputs and input pins. It has 4 input. These 4 inputs are A, B, C and D. 4, 12, 13 and 3. And it has 4 outputs. It is QA, QB, QC and QD. The four output pins are 6, 11, 14 and 2. So the output pins, this is QA, QB, QC and QD. And the inputs are, this is A, B, C and D. So this is all about the pin diagram. Now see the circuit. This circuit is to see the outputs and the pin number 9 and 10. Pin number 16 is connected to plus 5 volt. It is connected to the ground. In this time we are not going to use the preset pin that is pin number 1. So pin number 1 should be connected to the ground. And we are not going to cascade the 4029. So pin number 5 should be connected to the ground. The clock input pin, pin number 15. With this pin, we have to connect a push to one switch and other side of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. Across the switch, we have to connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor, a pull down resistor. This value is 10 kilo ohms and we will connect one LED with this negative pin of the LED is connected with a resistor and then it is connected to the ground. With pin number 6 we will connect one LED and with this we will connect a 220 ohms resistor and then it is connected to the ground. This is output and it is QA. Like this we have to connect the other three. This pin number 9 is to switch between decade counter or the binary counter and with this pin we will connect an SPST switch and other side of the switch is connected to plus 5 volt. With this pin we will connect a pull down resistor this value is 10 kilo ohms and also one LED and then it is connected to ground this value is 220 ohms. Also with pin number 10 these LEDs are connected to detect whether the switch is pressed or not. These three LEDs and these LEDs to detect the output. Now see this on the breadboard. I see 4029. Pin number 8 is connected to the ground. 16 is connected to plus VCC. For now, we have to connect pin number 1 and pin number 5 to the ground. Push to one switch, this will provide the clock pulse. One side of the switch is connected to the plus VCC. Other side of the switch is connected to the pin number 15. And with pin number 15, positive pin of an LED is connected. Negative pin is connected to the ground through 220 ohms resistor. So this will detect the clock pulse whenever we push the switch. Across the switch, here I am connecting an 100 nanofarad capacitor. Now connect all the outputs. All the negative pins of the LED is connected to the ground through 220 ohms resistor. 
This one is QA, QB, QC and QD. QA is connected to pin number 6. QB is connected to pin number 11. QC is connected to pin number 14. And QD is connected to pin number 2. This pin should be pin number 2. Not pin number 3. It is pin number 2. Now put two switches for pin number 9 and 10. One side of the switch is connected to plus VCC. This is for pin number 9. And I will connect this switch to pin number 10. With pin number 9 and 10, pull down resistor is connected. And with these two switches, one LED is connected. And other side of the LED is connected to the ground through 220 ohm resistor. So with this circuit, we will see the up counter, down counter, decade counter, binary counter and the clock pulse and all these outputs. Now connect both the positive rail and the negative rails. Now connect the power supply. Here is the negative and here is the positive. Two switches are turned on. I am turning it off. Now see this. This is connected to pin number 10 and it is the switch between up counter or the down counter. As this switch is turned off, so the logic level in pin number 10 is low. Whenever the logic level of pin number 10 is low, then this will work as down counter. And whenever the switch is turned on, now the logic level of pin number 10 is high. So this IC will work as an up counter. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Now if I put pin number 10 at logic level low, now see this counter will work as a down counter. Here is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 0 so this will work like this now for this this is for pin number 9 and whenever the logic level of pin number 9 is low then this will work as a decade counter so it is counting from 0 to 9 if the logic level of pin number 9 is high this will work as a binary counter. Now see this. The output is now 2, 1, 0. It is F, E, D, C, B, A. It is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From 0. Now if I make the logic level of pin number 10 now this will work as a up counter now see this e f and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 means a b c d e f so these two pins is working like this and these are the output and this is clock pulse so we have seen up to this now we'll see the working of the preset pin that is pin number one and the input pins that is pin number 4 12 13 and 3 and the connections that is pin number 6 11 14 2 9 and 10 we have to connect them same in this like this and for pin number 15 is also the same connection and pin number 16 8 5 these are also same connection with the pin number 1 we have to connect a push to one switch other side of the switch is connected to plus 5 volt and we'll connect one pull down resistor the value is 10 kilo ohms and with this we'll connect an LED now see the input pins. The input A that is pin number 4 
with pin number 4 we have to connect an SPST switch and we have to connect a pull down resistor and LED this is input A and like this we have to connect all three pin number 12 it is input B pin number 13 is input C and the last pin number 3 it is input D now see the breadboard connection we have connected up to this now put all the input switch one side of the switch is connected to plus VCC remove this connection that is pin number 1 to the ground connect a push to one switch pin number 1 is connected with pull down resistor that is 10 kilo ohms pin number 1 is connected to one side of the switch other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC with pin number 1 one LED is connected the positive pin is connected with pin number 1 negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground through 220 ohms resistor so whenever I press this switch this LED will glow now with all the input pins we have to connect pull down resistor with pin number 3 4 12 and 13 this is A, B, C and D A is connected to pin number 4 B is connected to pin number 12 C is connected to pin number 13 and D is connected to pin number 3 now connect the input LEDs other side of the LED is connected to ground through 220 ohms resistor both the negative rail and the positive rail here is the negative and here is the positive we have already seen pin number 9 and 10 now we will see the preset pin that is this one pin number 1 and all these inputs now if you provide clock pulses then it will count like this now let's say you provide an input 5 now if you press the preset pin then the output will be 5 ok then if you provide clock pulse then again it will count like this now I am making it up counter so it will be like this binary now if I provide preset then again it will be 5 let's say I want to provide 7 then the output will be 7 whatever in the output if I test the preset then it will be according to the inputs if you want to connect this display with IC4029 then you need another IC that is 7447 or 7448 for common cathode this IC is for common anode so this common pin of the display should connect it to plus 5 volt and this is, these are the ABCDEFG and its input pin will be A, B, C and D now just connect QA to A, QB to B, QC to C, QD to D and I already explained the IC 7447 and 7448 link in the description below now by connecting this in breadboard I'll show you the output IC 7447 common anode display QA that is pin number 6 this pin is connected to its pin number 7 7 is A pin QB that is pin number 11 this pin is connected to pin number 1 it's B QC that is pin number 14 is connected to pin C that is pin number 2 and QD that is pin number 2 of 4029 and it is connected to pin number 6 that is D now I am connecting the power supply here is the positive negative is already connected this output that is 3 and it is showing here 3 4 5 6 7 8 
9 and 0. Now the input is 6 and if I press the preset pin, the output is 6 and here also it is showing 6. Seven. If I press press this switch, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is working like this. And if I down counter, then it will come from nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So like this, this one is working. And if I make this as binary counter, then it will count up to F0. As this IC is only for BCD to 7 segment display. And here we are providing here the binary code. So this IC will not work. This IC will work from 0 to 9. From 9 it is working. If I make this up counter, input is 7, it is 7. So this is how you can connect a display with IC4029 and it is working like this. So guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching